Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to Centurions Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. This is Team Yankee First Battle from Game Designers Workshop. Uh, it's a Frank Chadwick game, also made by Mark Miller. And apparently it's based on the book Team Yankee by Harold Coyle. I've never read that book, but I got this for an inexpensive price at a auction. So figured I'd try it out even though I've never read the book. Here is hands-on experience leading a modern tank company in the battle. Team Yankee presents the expertise that the modern tank company commander needs in easy-to-follow game rules format. Two players each form their own strategies as they fight out potential, very real situations on the battlefield of World War III. Soviet uni units have numbers and firepower. US, US, U.S. units have speed and technology. To each side's advantages and disadvantages, the players add strategy and leadership. Rules cover the essentials of movement and combat, blah, blah, blah. All right, you get the idea. All right, it says it's for ages 12 and up and takes an hour to play, and two players, of course, and suitable for solitaire play. So let's see what's in here. All right, here's the game rules. What's it? I looked through this uh, already. The game rules, what's interesting about them is there's m multiple scenarios in this and for like the first scenario it lists just enough rules where you can play that and when you get to the second scenario it has additional rules so you can play the game after only reading a few pages of rules and then after that scenario read some more and go on and on so that's kind of a cool way to learn the rules. Reminds me of a game from GMT Games. Um, Doolittle Raid was like that too, if I recall correctly. Alright, so here's your game rules uh, going over what the counter uh, values are. You got attack range and defense, and then uh, ground attack aircraft. You got strafing factor, bomb vehicle, and bomb troop uh, ratings. So here's the phases in the player turn. You got first attacks, then move and enemy reaction fire, and then last attack. So that's a pretty simple sequence of play. I'm just going over movement and terrain types here. And attacks range and reaction fire. And here going over attack results. And that's it. You have one, two, 3.5 pages of rules. And then it gets into the first scenario. So that's kind of cool. First scenario is called the, To the Rescue. Remnants of a U.S. recon company are desperately fighting for survival against the Soviet advance guard. Just as all seems lost, U.S. tanks come charging to the rescue. That sounds cool. All right, and then it's you got some more rules after you do that scenario. You got morale, spotting, and entrenchments, and artillery, and then you start a scenario two, which is objective log. log so that's cool. And after scenario two, you learn the limited visibility, smoke, and mine rules. Uh, and then you can play scenario three, which is the Langen Gap. And then after that, uh, new rules are special vehicles and chemical warfare. And then you start scenario four, first blood. I really like this, the, uh, the way they uh, went about this. This is cool. And then you got air units and special rules. And then you go to scenario five, warthogs bar the door. And no new rules for Scenario 6, Defense of the Hill, and then Scenario 7, and Scenario 8. So, yeah, the rules look very simple to learn, which is awesome. Alright, now it's going over Scenario Variants. And designing your own scenario is always a good idea. It makes a game a lot more fun if you can design your own scenarios and a hell of a lot more replayability and tactics and hints on play Soviet organization, US organization and now it's going over Soviet equipment that's cool I like this, this is neat I haven't played it yet so who knows but uh, I look forward to definitely trying it looks so easy to get into and here's your uh, charts, you got an artillery table, combat results table, elevation chart, morale loss table, and a terrain effects chart, and a terrain key down here. And what do we have here? It's like, uh, oh, this is clarifications. I, don't know, I guess it's kind of an errata or something. All right. And here's an advertisement. And let's look at the maps. These are on like kind of a thin card stock, so it's better than the typical poster map. 
Got a city down here, another city over here. Let me see if I, oh, I am zoomed out. And then uh, some terrain. I mean, for I think this is from the late 1980s. This looks all right for the late 1980s. And here's the other map here. Yep, city down there, city up here, and some more hills and stuff and a river. So it's simple terrain, so this kind of looks like it was geared more towards the new wargamer or someone who's relatively new to wargaming. And there's nothing wrong with that because there's a desperate shortage of war games that are suitable for new players. All right, it looks like it's got a, I don't know if this counter tray came with or what, but this has been played and it's got dice in there in the counters. Um, counters look all right for the 1980s, they're not bad. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Just wanted to show you guys this interesting game here. And if you haven't heard uh, yet, I am selling used war games on my website. Uh, I have a link in the description, so check it out. I'm putting new games up every week. Thanks for watching. Have a good evening.